whitetails, your guide to North America's number one big game animal. Today's topic is whitetail hearing. Is it supernatural or just so-so? The research actually shows that we hear very similarly, with a few notable exceptions. Before we talk about the research, let's talk about the difference between low frequency sounds and high frequency sounds and how those sounds travel in the environment. Low frequency sounds are things like a foghorn or a train horn, those high intensity, low frequency sounds that travel a long way in the environment. That's why we use them as warning signals. High frequency sounds are things like a whistle or the report of a deer rifle, those fast moving sounds that don't travel very far in the environment. When it comes to low frequency sounds, humans actually hear slightly better than deer. When it comes to those mid frequency sounds, we actually hear almost identically to deer. And that's good news. It's in our peak range of hearing for human speech and in the deer's peak range of hearing for deer vocalizations, as well as grunt calls. In those higher frequencies, deer have a slight advantage over humans. So you can see we share a lot of similarities, but yet deer still have several important advantages. Notably, large cupped ears. This allows them to detect sounds very quickly and also the ability to rotate those ears to directionalize that sound. Deer are also highly in tune with their environment. If you had to live 24-7, 365 in the woods, you too would be able to hear a lot better than you currently do. In fact, all you have to do is talk to somebody who's blind to see what the human hearing potential can be. In fact, I practice this during the deer season. I'll sit quietly with my eyes shut and try to determine the source and direction of every sound. And by mid-season, I'm picking up sounds that I was missing earlier in the year. So you can see, share lots of similarities, but deer still have the advantage. The key here is not noise in the environment, it's unnatural noise. So try to minimize all the unnatural noise and you too will be more successful. That's it for today's episode of Murphy's Law. Hope you learned something. Until next time, be sure to leave your questions and your comments here in the video, but also to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to check out all the great content at HuntStand.com.